In this video, I want to talk about the requirements for GIMP. I also want to talk about Evits Plus as well as Unisa. I'm going to be talking about the application process for GIMP and I'm going to be talking about TWEPT, which is the test, as well as bursaries for GIMP students. Enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are a family here. So in this video I'm going to be talking about um, GIMP as well as Ewept and this is an updated version of this video. So there are things that I'm not going to be saying on this video because I've already mentioned them on the other video but there will be things that I think that are important that I might as well have to emphasize on this video. So yeah, let's get started. So what is important to remember is that any degree um, can apply. I mean like anyone who's done any degree undergrad can apply um, to get into e camp program. So whether you did um, engineering or become accounting or any any degree basically and if you did a BSc you are at a greater advantage because you have most of the prerequisites that they are looking for and while if you did the other degrees that don't really involve like a biology then there might be like a, a course that you might do a one-year course in order for you to be able to to get into the program So the high school requirements are, are that you should have passed your maths, um, pure maths with 60% or more. And then English, you should have passed the English with 60% or more as, as part of the requirements, right? And then with your um, undergrad requirements, you should have done a biology for a year. Um, this involves maybe like anatomy, physiology, botany, zoology, or any life science related um, course. You should have done it in two semesters in first year and passed it with a 50%. And then you also needed to have um, to have e physics, which you should have done it like in a in a six month period or one semester. Also, you should have passed it with um, fifty percent or more. And then you also need chemistry, which you also should have um, done it in a six month period, and you should have also passed it with fifty percent. So those are the subjects that they require you to have in order for you to be considered to even write the web. So that is maths from high school English and then physics, biology, and chemistry. I do want to make it clear though, that if your high school maths is not a 60%, you have less than that, and, and then maybe you did a, a maths course in your first year on your undergrad degree, and then you got like a 50% for that. So you then qualify um, as like, that, that qualifies as a requirement because now it's like you have done like a bridging course to compensate so um, the first year maths modules could be like calculus or any maths related course and then the same goes with English if you did like an English course in your first year um, and it's it's a 50 percent then you qualify as you know as a requirement so yeah so now I want to talk about uh, what can you do basically if you don't have these prerequisites so in the other video i talked about um, applying at unisa and then doing an ndp and then being able to do these modules to compensate right so i've gotten like a lot of responses from you guys telling me that at unisa now they don't like allow you to apply for this course if you don't have like a, a document stating why you would want to do that course and then if you're trying to get into GIMP, it's kind of like a problem because the university might not like give you a thing, like a document to say that you are required to do this at UNIS and whatnot. So a lot of people were like kind of complaining about that. So I do want to tell you guys that there is another option. You can actually um, apply through VITS Plus and then do all these courses um, via VITS Plus. But they do um, recommend that you do um, biology in, in one year and then do physics and chemistry in a different year don't do all three in one year so basically the biology is like a one year 
um, course while chemistry is at six months and then physics is at six months as well so that's what you can apply for and then try and do that there's also a maths course that you can do and then this actually requires you to have passed your your pure maths from high school then um, that's the requirement to actually apply um for math for maths at vits plus right and then if you have met literacy and guys i get a lot i get like ask this question like a lot can i get into medicine if um if i did maths literacy can i apply through vids plus or through um the unisa program and i'm like yes you can apply through vids plus as long as you have 60 i mean 70 percent as long as you have 70 percent in your maths literacy which is the symbol b right then they'll allow you to actually apply to do um their maths at vids plus so that's the requirement that they want as long as you have the 70 percent then there's no problem right because i know a lot of um nursing students i think they do maths literacy but they now they have all the other requirements and then maths literacy is like the only problem so i'm saying it's possible so the applications to do um a course via vits plus they they open on the 1st of july and then they close on the 30th of september yearly so make sure that you apply early so that you know you have a secure place and then this is the timetable um of of their classes basically and um most of their classes they start around half past five in the afternoon and then um for the classes there's someone um or about vids plus in general there is oh i think it's a miss miss Nguenya that you can contact and this is her email address so anything concerning vids plus that you're not sure of um please contact her and then yeah you can take it from there okay now so i'm going to be talking about the application process um for eCamp, right? So they open on the 1st of March um, and then they close on the 30th of June every year, right? And then um, you actually have to apply for this course when you are doing your final year of your degree. If you're doing like a, 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 th a three year degree, you apply on your third year because um, you can then continue get, like sending your results as the year progresses, right? And then you're going to write the wet test the same year. And then if you're doing your, your master's degree, you can't apply on your first year of your master's degree. You can only apply on your last year of your master's degree. I'm sure that makes sense, right? And then the code of the degree when you are going through the application process the code of the degree is mfa 00 comma y o s 3 right let me say that again mfa 00 comma y o s 3 and then when you apply you apply through www vits.ac.za slash undergrads undergrads yeah undergrads so yeah and then the documents that you will need when applying for this program right you're going to need firstly to complete your application make sure that you've completed everything and then you've also um, sent the proof of payment of you you've paid before the the closing date you know and then um you also have to have a certified ID copy, um, a certified academic record um, of all since first year, right? And then if you have completed your degree, they'll also need your certified degree certificate and then also your certified metric certificate, right? And then for all foreign students, guys i'm sorry i don't have enough information about this um but it is advised that you guys do contact the university directly and then this is the contact that you guys can contact but i i promise in the future videos i'm going to educate myself more on the topic um specifically about cambridge and all the the studies that you guys do and then i'll have more information on that so yeah So now I'm going to talk about um, the VITS additional placement test, which is the WAPT. 
So it has three components, which is the anatomy, physiology, and molecular medicine. So molecular medicine is more of, you know, like cancers and, you know, all those you're on the side, like conditions, HIV, malaria. So yeah, so you have to pass all three components in order for you to pass the test, right? So you have to get 50% for each and then you can't pass two and then fail one because automatically you'll be disqualified to continue with the process of actually eventually being accepted. So um, you also have to pay like 200 Rand in order to buy, I mean, in order to write the, the test um, for admin preparations for, for their test, you know. So yeah, there's that. And then the test is usually written on the second on the third or the third week of September. And then um, it depends whether it can be online or it can be on person. But when you have all the prerequisites um, and you have all the, you know, everything that you need um, during the application process, uh, they will then invite you to come write the, the, the test and they will communicate to you um, uh, Is it written online or on that year is it going to be written online or is it going to be face to face, right? So don't stress about it. They will communicate with you Just make sure that you check your emails regularly after you've actually sent your application and then in order for you to actually get invited you 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 have to be in your final year of your degree and or have already completed um, your degree and then you should have at least a minimum on uh, a minimum average of 70 percent of your last two years of your degree so if you're doing like a, a three-year degree your third year and your and your second year when you when you like calculate an average it should give a 70 percent or more right and then you should have all the prerequisites um, the ones that I talked about earlier on so yeah, this will make you to be um, Invited to write the test and you being invited to write the test does not automatically now mean what you will be like considered um, And even if you do pass the test does not mean what you automatically be now accepted because they have a number of students that they're going to take and then that's where they consider the 70 percent so the students that have like the higher marks they consider those students first you know going to like the, the, the from the 90s to the 80s and then to the 70s so it's important that you work very very hard in in your last two years of your degree so that you know you'll be able to have like a chance to be accepted because they also consider that as well as the fact that you've passed the weight right and then if um, you are unable to have like a good average in your third year or your, I mean your final year of your degree, you can then do your honors and work hard in your honors to actually, you know, boost your last year marks and then have like a, a, a better average. And then if you do have an honors, they actually give you one more percent on your average because you, 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 you like a postgraduate now. And then if you did like a master's degree, they give you two percentages over your average you know and then if you have like a phd they gave you three so it's it's a good thing to actually you know do your postgraduate studies and even when you you get to fourth year which is you came to you if you have a master's degree they exempt you from actually doing um research uh, so it's it's a really good thing it's actually like a win-win situation uh and you don't have to do research and when you don't have to do research you have so much time to actually focus on your studies so yeah the, I, I thought that would be like a nice you know thing to share and then i think i've told you guys that you have to pass all three components and then those people who actually wrote the web two years ago um like yeah two years ago or a year ago and they passed the web but they were un their average was unable what was not giving them like an advantage to actually be accepted accepted to, to to medical school they don't have to then write the web all over again you only have to apply um you only have to like i think you have to call the university yeah i'll i'll give you guys an email you have to call the university and then give them the new updated um academic marks and then do say that you did write the weight so this is the email address that you can actually contact so that you don't write the weight again and be exempted from writing it okay and then you also don't have to write an nbt 
um, for the whipped so you're exempted from that and a really really cool fact is that in preparation for the whipped i actually created a, a whipped preparation study guide 101 and this is the guide so in order for you to make your guys studying like much more like easier because in my year it was really really tough having to like you know try and figure out what to study where we so i, I have like a timetable the timetable has links to the videos that you can watch for each and every component anatomy physiology and molecular medicine in order for you to be better prepared for the web so after you've applied just make sure that you start preparing for the web especially when you know that you have all the prerequisites so there's no way that they can actually you know not invite you so make sure that you um you, you then start studying and then by the time september comes you know that you are prepared so i'm going to link all the documents that you guys are going to need on the description down below as well as the study guide i'm going to link it down below so download the guide it's completely free so yeah you can it's it's completely free i'm um, i'm saying this because i saw another website where they were selling the guide my guide and i was like what's going on so don't participate in those things i i, I really did not like that i think it's university of sefajo or something like that i'm i'm not sure but yeah the guide is free use the link that i've provided down below and then there is the there is the um amped for web um telegram group which helped me so much um, in my year when i was studying they provide you with material um like study material they give you like textbooks and whatnot it's it's soft copies right so they have like a, a dropbox link where you can access all these materials so i'm going to also link um or like write a link on the description to the telegram group unfortunately after some time it expires so yeah but also um i have their instagram thingy so this is their instagram so make sure that you follow them and then i think they regularly like post the new link or something like that so yeah there's that so now i want to talk about the bursaries that actually fund um gamp students so i know esfab um, i know a friend who's funded by esfab and their game i'm funded by a compensation fund and then um nesfas actually also funds you especially if you started with nesfas from first like from your previous degree and then now you you want to transition into camp i think they give you like two years they find you for like two years in camp and then the other two years then you you know you try and find another bursary basically and then invest tech also does find game students so guys don't sleep on these bursaries so make sure that you apply on time and a fun fact is i actually post um, my bursaries on my instagram um story i even have an instagram highlight like here so i have an instagram highlight um where i post bursaries as well as when do they actually like close the closing dates of those bursaries so make sure that you follow me on instagram so that you get like updated times on when a bursary is like now open and whatnot because i post that like very regularly i think like maybe three times a week i post new bursaries so be on the lookout for that and then now i want to talk about um when do you get all the responses right after you've written the wait when do they then tell you you've passed or you haven't passed so for the wait two to three weeks after you've written it then they'll let you know Guti. excuse me you get an email telling you so the email looks like this so yeah you can just read it um, and then they'll tell you Wuti, you have passed the wave. So they'll also explain Wuti, you passing doesn't mean Wuti, that you've automatically now been accepted, right? And then um, after you've written the wave, you've submitted all your all your academic record marks for your completed degree, and now they've calculated if you have an average that is above seventy percent. Now um, they tell you all of this like on the second or the third week of of december right so i think i received my response on it was the 13th of december so yeah second or third week of december and some people even get their responses in january so you know like how maybe they might give me like a response 
for for a game in in december and then i don't accept the offer or i just cancel i'm like i'm not coming i have new commitments and then in january now they'll have like a my space my space is now like open so whoever had maybe if i had like for example let me say 80 or maybe let, let me just say 79 right and then there's someone who got 70 78 so now they're going to call the person who got 78 to there's a space you can now come in i remember there were people who actually came like got accepted a year i mean a, a, a week after we started the like the cause so yeah also be on the lookout for that so if they didn't actually accept you um in december you might get a response in january Uguti, you can come okay so yeah. so just to summarize on the important points so you must have all the prerequisites in order for you to be invited for the wait right and then you should apply before the 30th of june and then in order to be considered um to be accepted for a game you should have an average of the last two years of your degree that is above 70 percent right so you have to work harder so that you you know have greater chances because i think they take like 150 students so make sure that you work hard and then for the web which is the test right you should get 50 percent for anatomy physiology and molecular medicine but of course you have to work harder to increase your chances so that you make sure that you pass the test right and then you should also follow me on instagram so that you'll be able to um you know get all the bursary updates that i post on my story and then also check out what i've already posted on my instagram highlights about bursaries right and then guys all the best with the applica with the application process with j everything with the studying and don't forget to actually download my webbed um, study guide right because i believe it's going to help you so much i've received a lot of like feedback from the students that actually have written the webs they, they said that it was really like helpful i think i'll even like share a testimony right here so yeah, guys i really really recommend it because now that's what i actually use i created the um the the timetable during my my application process when i was studying you know so yeah it's things that i also used when i was studying so i hope it really helps you as well all the best guys jay may god be with you through this journey and everything jay it be perfect so yeah also on the channel there are a lot of students that i have invited that went through the game um, program like how you are about to go through it um, make sure that you watch those videos so that you'll be able to get moral support as well as you know not be too hard on yourself because we all went through the same process and we understand the struggles in the process so watch those videos on linkedin i really below. really want to say thank you so much to the new subscribers i see you guys and I see even you guys that were with me from day one. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope the new subscribers, you guys stay and you enjoy the family. And Jay, be a part of this channel because you guys make the channel. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the 8,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And please do um, like the video if you haven't. Thank you so much. Bye. Our greatest glory is never in falling, but in rising every time we fall. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like these. Thank you to the new subscribers, very much appreciated. 